I was in my late twenties and working as a security guard at a modest motel in the busy metropolis of Miami. Even though the salary was fair, the unpredictable shifts and ongoing staffing issues made every day a difficult challenge. The front desk's phone rang one fateful night, breaking the silence of a late shift that had gotten uncomfortably quiet. The caller reported that something odd was happening in one of the motel rooms in a trembling, hardly heard voice on the other end of the line. Sincere distress could be heard in their statements, so even though I started to feel uneasy, I felt I had to look into it. I proceeded down the dimly lit hallway with a mix of curiosity and apprehension. An uncomfortable silence had taken the place of the usual hum of activity. I walked over to the door of the concerned room and knocked, introducing myself as motel security while my footsteps echoed. My efforts were met with a hollow stillness and an unspoken dread became heavier in the air. As I moved toward the end of the corridor, it appeared to stretch out in front of me as I listened intently for any strange sounds. My ears were only met with an unnerving silence. An adjacent visitor emerged as I reversed my steps to the mysterious entrance, their face etched with horror. They admitted to having heard unusual noises just a few moments prior, a chill running down their spines. Their statement struck a chord with my own mounting apprehension. I made a support call to the front desk and asked them to contact the room once more. The silence on the line seemed foreboding. Unbelievably, the front desk informed me that the room wasn't even booked for that night, which gave me the chills. I used my key to access the ostensibly empty space. There were no indications of any disturbance inside. It was spotless. My attention was drawn to the unassuming phone that had made the distress call. It was a regular item, but it gave off an unsettling energy. I kept looking at its serial number in the vain hope that it would provide any information. A discovery that bordered on terror came with the dawn. A guest from the same floor had gone missing, and their worried family had reported them. A terrifying detail was discovered after reviewing security footage. The visitor had departed the motel by themselves hours before the mysterious phone call. The dots started to join together, painting an ominous picture. The investigation progressed as the day gave way to night, but the caller's identity remained a mystery. Tension at the motel increased as the mystery surrounding the missing guest persisted. My midnight patrols started to become dangerous as I developed a keen awareness of prowling shadows and a constant fear of the unknown. The elusive caller was still a menacing shadow in the back of my mind, despite my best attempts. The mystery surrounding the missing guest's fate hung over the motel like a terrible shadow. The event left a lasting impression on me, serving as a reminder that even in a busy city, darkness can appear unexpectedly and that certain mysteries may never be fully solved. During an amazing business trip last year, Tokyo's seductive charm lured me in. I had no idea that the charming motel I had picked would soon drag me into a terrifying nightmare. The modest facade of the lobby looked friendly when I entered it, but underneath there was unimaginable terror. The modest charm of the motel changed into an ominous vibe, making me question the security of my own room. My perception of business travel was forever changed by what happened next, which exposed the hidden dangers that lay behind closed doors. As I took the elevator to the top floor, the room key jingled. I could see the end of the corridor in the weak light, and I could hear my steps through the stillness. The seclusion was a brief reprieve after a long day of travel. I entered my room after unlocking it and laid my things down by the entrance. I was impressed by the simple design in front of me. Unexpectedly, a man with a friendly smile emerged from the adjoining room through a creaking door. He introduced himself as my temporary neighbor and gave me a warm welcome. I gave him a cordial welcome in return, shook his hand, and introduced myself. I shut my door and prepared to relax. I turned on the TV to get some news before giving in to the lovely bed's appeal. It was getting late, and I craved for sleep to get ready for the day ahead. A brief shower was intended to remove the grit from travel, but as the water ran, a distinct sound broke the peace. A lock opening with a click. 
I panicked as soon as I realized it was too late to do the housework. My entire body was on edge as I wrapped myself in a towel. Following that, just the creak of the door opening to the adjacent room and the sound of timid footsteps crossing my threshold made noise. The guy abruptly withdrew as though sensing my presence. Sleep was difficult to come by since I kept thinking about the intruder's motives. The anxiety lingered despite my efforts to double lock the door and it threw a cloud over my thoughts. The flurry of meetings and exchanges that followed barely took my mind off the unpleasant incident. I laid my work bag on the bed when I got back to the motel, the reminder of a difficult day hanging over me. All I wanted was a break. Steam engulfed me as I entered the shower, and I hoped for a brief reprieve. However, the recognizable sound returned. When I realized someone was trying to unlock my door, panic struck once more. I stealthily exited the building while searching the area for something with which to defend myself. Adrenaline propelled my activities. I quickly put on my pants and stood on the edge with my senses on high alert. The intrusion was about to happen. My ear was pressed up against the bathroom door when I shut myself inside. The intrusive person's presence made me feel uneasy as they searched through my possessions. It was a personal invasion and I was helpless. My phone was out of reach, I realized amid the commotion. I hurriedly put on my jeans and started yelling at the top of my lungs at the bathroom door. As the footfall grew fainter, optimism grew. Were they going back? I was given my phone, and although my fingers were shaking, I dialed 911. I made another contact to the front desk after that, spewing out my story about the terrifying experience. Even though the police were on the way, the invader disappeared without a trace. Hours later, they discovered him in his car, but they couldn't determine what he was up to, leaving me nervous and troubled by what might have happened. My recent business trip to Tokyo serves as proof that caution and quick thinking are essential. The story of how a once safe motel turned into a terrifying war will go on as a cautionary tale about the importance of acting quickly. Our family anxiously anticipated new summertime excursions every year, and Santa Barbara, California, beckoned with its outer. The ideal hideaway for a much-needed getaway seemed to be a charming motel surrounded by breathtaking scenery. We had no idea that our dreamy getaway would turn into a terrifying nightmare that would live in our memory forever. The children were already splashing around with delight in the motel's lovely outdoor pool, which shimmered. My wife and I relaxed poolside while they enjoyed the water, taking in the peace. The sky was a magnificent blue, the sun was warm, and everything appeared ideal. Darkness, though, can linger even in paradise. Our youngest, Max, was having a lively chat with another youngster one bright afternoon as I walked around the courtyard. The other boy's parents also laughed loudly, but there was something strange about them. They smiled warmly but kept an awkward distance. We went back to our room as the sun began to set so we could get ready for dinner. Things started to fall apart at that point. As Max fought to unlock the door with the key, I could hear soft whispering coming from the opposite side. In preparation to encounter an intruder, I flung open the door while my heart raced. I was surprised to see that the corridor was empty when I turned around. My stomach started to feel queasy. I went to the front desk of the motel and told them what had happened, looking for an explanation. However, they had no clues or explanations, so their assurances were of little consolation. Sleep avoided me, and the night provided no peace. My anxiety was heightened by the idea that a mysterious threat might be lurking close to my family. I vowed to be watchful in order to protect them. The next night dragged us farther into a terrifying experience. Max woke me up while wearing a terrified mask. He claimed to have overheard whispers outside the door. I acted quickly, telling Max to remain put as my heart raced. Louder footsteps resounded in the hallway. I caught a brief glimpse of a shadow vanishing around the corner as I swung the door wide. My chest grew heavy as a sense of uneasiness tightened its grasp on me. The sense of being hunted, and the knowledge that something evil was hiding in the darkness got greater. This time, 
The manager and security of the motel took part in the inquiry. Progress remained elusive though, because there was no concrete proof or description of the whispering presence. We made the heartbreaking decision to leave our gorgeous lodging and seek safety in a larger hotel for the remainder of our holiday, as our disquiet escalated to panic. Our sense of security had been destroyed by the unidentified menace, leaving us scared and cautious. I tell you this story with a sorrowful heart. Our idyllic summer vacation quickly devolved into a terrifying nightmare, serving as a warning that even in the most stunning locations, darkness can encroach. Keep an eye out because danger can take many forms and even in the most beautiful settings, safety is never guaranteed. I can't help but ponder the following as I consider those ominous rumblings and the motivations behind them. What nefarious evil still lurks in the shadows, ready to strike?